Educator. Hola, hello learners, and welcome to yet another exciting episode of Remote Learning. Today we are doing agriculture for grade 6. I will be your host, Wango Indirango. Our sign language interpreter is Velma Akinyi, and with me is Mr. Muhia. Mr. Muhia. Yes. Welcome. Thank you. Please tell us what we're going to learn today. Today, mm -hmm. in our agriculture lesson, mm -hmm. we're going to learn about earth. Earth. Remember when you talk about uh, the, um, agriculture? Yes. Agriculture generally involves plants. Okay. And where do we grow plants? Earth. On the earth. <laughs> yes. On that surface. Yes. On that material that we have. Okay. That covers the ground. Known as soil. Yes. So, let's start with an, uh, a simple fact. Mm -hmm. I always love facts. Me too. When you talk about soil erosion... Mm -hmm. We talked about soil erosion. Yes. We have done different types of soil erosion. Yes, we have. We have talked about sheet erosion. Yes. Though we started with splash. Yes. The one that makes holes. Yes. Then we went to sheet erosion. Yes. The one that sweeps. Yes. Then we have the third one. Which the real is erosion. The small channels. Yes. Then we're going to have the fourth one. Okay. There is also another one. There is another one. Wow. There is another uh -huh. one. Uh -huh. We are going to see okay. how is it formed. Yes. Why is it formed. Okay. So that's our lesson for today. Okay. But before we go to that, mm -hmm. we have a fact here. Mm -hmm. Read the fact for us. Landslides occur as a result of soil erosion. Landslides occur as a result of soil erosion. erosion. Okay, that's curious uh -huh. because I think... Among the soil erosions that we have covered already, mm -hmm. I don't see one that is so intense mm -hmm. that we can actually get landslides, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. It rains. Yes. Once it rains, mm -hmm. the ground hit, uh, the water hits the ground, mm -hmm. the soil becomes loose. Yes. You dig, the way you are digging, mm -hmm. remember you told me, from top to bottom. Yes. Are you supposed to do that? No. no. You are still accelerating the, the event. Erosion, yes. You are mining. Mm -hmm. You are making deep holes where you're getting your minerals from, your mm -hmm. stones, your sand. Yes. You are leaving the ground very bare. Yes. And of course, when you are mining a quarry, mm -hmm. it's not a small place. No, it's big. It's a big place. It's very big. So what is happening to the soil on the sides? It's definitely becoming loose. It becomes loose. Yes. Then eventually, what will happen? Mm, it caves it in. It caves in. Okay, I take back my statement. Okay. It caves in. Mm. And that's how a landslide happens. Okay. Because of the soil erosion. Mm. Erosion, remember, we said the first thing is always detachment. Yes. The soil particles become loose. Mm. Once they become loose, it's very easy to transport them. Yes. So landslides are formed as a result or occur mm -hmm. as a result of soil erosion. Okay. You know, I read somewhere mm. that... There were two pieces of land. Mm -hmm. There was land on part A, mm -hmm. a river, mm -hmm. and another piece of land mm -hmm. here. So mm -hmm. automatically, this was owned by farmer A, farmer B. B. Mm -hmm. This land here, mm -hmm. the river, is the divider yes. between the two. Yes. And the land was at a slopey area. Like my grandmother's land. Yes. Okay. It was a slopey area. Mm. So farmer A knew how to cultivate. Mm. So he had cultivated very well sideways mm. contour farming mm -hmm. but farmer b mm. didn't know how to cultivate that so he cultivated like me yes losing <laughs> the soil top to, okay. top to bottom yes or even sometimes bottom to top yeah so you find the mm. soil in his farm mm. became loose okay so once it became loose mm -hmm. the land slid the soil swept away oh once it is swept away yeah almost half of it yeah. Of course, it is going to be deposited at the bottom of the, of the land, yes. where the river is. Where the river is, yes. So, it closed the river. 
ilifungamtu. Oh. And remember, this water, it has to, uh, once the soil flowed back, mm-hmm. it blocked the river. Yeah. So once it blocked the river, mm-hmm. the water had to find a way a to way. move. Yes, yes. So what happened? Mm-hmm. It meandered and went this way. Oh, no. So now what happened? Farmer A got a bigger piece of land. The river now is coming. <laughs> and Farmer B, yeah. his land remained that. Very small. And the issue is, he cannot blame anyone. Lack of wisdom. Exactly. <laughs> and nature. And nature, So yes. you find, he cannot come to Farmer A and say... And claim, oh, you have part of my land. You have part Please of my land. Please give it back. You cannot. You cannot. And a river is a God-given... Divide. Yes. It divides their lands. Yeah. So it's a boundary. So it's always good. Be wise about what you're doing. Very true. I hope because you guys got that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Another thing, mm-hmm. another fact, mm-hmm. read for us, fact number two. Bays are formed as a result of erosion. Bays. What are bays? B A Y. Yes. When you talk about a bay, mm-hmm. a bay is a piece of land. Mm-hmm. Or uh, let's say it's a water body. Mm -hmm. Let me use the water body. It's a water body Mm -hmm. that is enclosed Mm -hmm. or partially enclosed Mm -hmm. by land. So, okay. Uh It is a piece of, uh, it's a water body. So it is water Mm -hmm. and uh, mostly bees occur near large water bodies, especially oceans. Oh, okay, okay. okay, So you find there are places you get, Mm -hmm. water has entered into the land, Mm. but it has not been blocked completely. Mm. So it is like a curve, Mm -hmm. there is water inside, Mm. then there is the piece of land, then it still continues. Okay, so can I draw a diagram of what I think a bay is? Yes, please do. Let me see if learners... I hope you guys at home maybe have the same idea or not. Let's see if I am wrong or right. Mm -hmm. Right? Okay, so you said if there is a large water body, Mm -hmm. so let's say this is uh, the ocean, Mm -hmm. right? So you've said it's enclosed between land and ocean, right? Mm -hmm. So let's say here we have mountains and whatnot. So if a bay, it's enclosed... So this is land, this mm-hmm. area is land, okay. and this other part is the ocean. So this is the bay. Very good. Yeah? And to prove that, uh-huh. we have our diagram. <gasps> Yay! <laughs> Claps for me. So we have our bay. <laughs> yes. So you find, okay. if you look at it, mm-hmm. you will find that there is, mm-hmm. there is this part is the land. Yes. You can see the land. Okay. And inside you can see the... Water. You can see the water. Yes. So this is what we call the bay. Okay. Or a gulf. Okay. Another word for bay, we can call it a... Gulf. A gulf. Okay. Then, if the water is inside, Mm -hmm. we call it a bay. Okay. What about if the land is then now the one inside the ocean? An island? Not an island. No. An island is completely surrounded, surrounded by, by water. water. Okay, I don't know. What about the piece of land just mm-hmm. inside? In our in our diagram, I can the see water land. is inside. Mm, the, yes. What about now? If it was vice versa. It was vice versa. The land is inside. I don't know. You don't know. What is that? No, that one, mm-hmm. I'll leave it for you to do your research. You guys. Fun. Let's research. Let's find out what that is. Okay. You can use your Mm -hmm. digital devices. Yes. And get to find out. Search. Okay. What do we call the land that is partially inside the water body? I hope you guys are checking it out. Please leave it in our uh, comment section on our YouTube page. Instagram. Oh, sorry. No, we're not on Instagram. (laughs) Leave it in our comment area on Twitter, Facebook, and YouTube. Let's see if you're right. Please. Edu TV Kenya at Edu TV Kenya. Uh huh. Okay. Yes. So we have talked about a bay. Mm-hmm. Bays are formed due to erosion. Mm-hmm. Okay. That piece of land. Mm. If you are, you look at that piece of land. Yes. It is forming near the ocean. You have drawn for me mm-hmm. the ocean. Mm-hmm. So near the ocean, mm-hmm. we have the ocean, the water body, mm-hmm. and we have the piece of land. Yes. And there is a way we can prevent mm-hmm. so much erosion happening near the beaches. Okay, you know, and, uh, I really didn't know that soil erosion is that powerful. It is very, okay. very powerful. Okay, now I know. And especially in this one that we're going to deal with today. Mm, mm. Okay. Okay. So we start. What happens? Now we are coming to talk mm. about erosion. This okay. erosion now. Yes. What happens to the land if real erosion is not controlled? Okay. 
Remember we said, what is real erosion? This is the path that is, is formed mm -hmm. by runoff water. Very good. And yes. we called that path a channel. A channel, yes. And they are shallow. Yes. They are? In the beginning, they are shallow. Very good. Yes. So, what happens if you do not control these shallow channels? Then they become deeper. They become deeper. Yes. Very good. Okay. They deepen. Mm -hmm. So, that is one thing. Mm. They deepen. Okay. And as they are deepening, mm -hmm. they are widening. Okay. Because the more it goes deep, the wider it goes as well. The wider it goes. Okay. So they depend mm -hmm. and they widen. And they widen. Okay. Next one. Mm. We have <gasps> the diagram. Oh, wow. Why the reaction? So a shallow, I mean, honestly, like a channel that is shallow mm -hmm. in the beginning can become this wide and deep. Yes. Hey, you guys, let's be serious. No, I just, I just want you to look at that diagram. Wow. And get to see you can see there is a house somewhere. Yes. Now, this person living in this house, how will he get or she get to the other side of the land? And this is his land. It was raining. Yes. There was that real erosion. Yes. The small channels. Yes. And he decided, yes. ah, just a small mutaro. It's okay. Leave it. Let's forget about it. Uh, these are trees. Let's cut them down. Let's mm -hmm. sell them. Wow. This is grass. Yes. I have cows. Mm. Let the cow eat grass. Yes. Afterwards, what happens? Then you have that. There he is. What is he going to do? You wow. see? The feature formed. Mm. If you can look at that feature, mm. what shape can you see? Uh, well, I'm seeing a V. A V. Yes, I'm seeing So a v. from the house, let's yes. see from where the house is. Yes. You can see the house, my Lana. Yeah. Huh? The house down, down up. and up. Yes. So there is a V shape. Yes. There is a V shape. Mm. A V shaped channel is going to be formed. Yes. These shallow panel uh, shallow channels mm -hmm. for the real erosion, mm -hmm. they become deeper mm -hmm. and wider. wider. Yes. Just the same way you can see, mm. it became deep and it widened. And it widened. Yes. Sawa sawa. Mm. Okay. So let's see if you are correct with what mm. you have said. Mm -hmm. We have said when the shallow channels are not controlled, they, they deepen, deepen. Mm -hmm. and they also widen. widen. And what happens? Read the next one. The channels become V-shaped or U-shaped. We have seen that in our diagram. Yes, we have. They become V-shaped mm -hmm. or U-shaped. Yes. They be become V-shaped or U-shaped. Or or yes. And you can see the next diagram. Yeah. Now this one, it's a U. This one looks like a field mm -hmm. somewhere mm -hmm. where learners go to play. Mm. And uh, there is no ground cover, so we can assume that... Uh, yeah. The human activity is there, the movement of the pupils mm. there. They really dried the grass up. Yeah. And once after drying the grass, they never watered it, mm -hmm. so it dried up. Yes. They never controlled the real erosions mm -hmm. because if you look at it, you can see like a channel on this side here. Yes. Maybe that is bringing water, yes. but it is becoming deeper and, and wider. wider. So, the shape formed here. Mm -hmm. You see, these ones are going straight down. Yes. So the shape can be U-shaped. U-shaped, yes. So when we talk about this kind of uh, erosion, mm. it forms what we call V-shaped. And U-shaped. And U-shaped. Okay. They deepen mm. and they widen. Okay. Now, I want you to picture mm. this field here. Mm -hmm. What will happen to it if not controlled after, let's say, about two years? If you don't control this, what will happen in two years? This will be a very, very dangerous place to be around. Very good. Yeah. And it will widen and, and as deepen. well deepen. Yes. Because the soil up here, if you look at this soil, mm. it is loose. Very. It's very loose. Mm. This part here, it's going to break off. Yes. It breaks off and falls in. Yes. Again, as it is widening, Widens. widening, widening. Yeah. Forming a very big rift. Mm. Okay. Tendele. Mm -hmm. The next one, mm -hmm. where do we expect this kind of erosion to happen? The first one? Uh, sloppy lands. The obvious, yes. sloppy, lands. sloppy lands. Especially the places where you do not cultivate properly. Yes. 
So that is one. Mm. You expect to have that kind of mm. erosion. Mm. The second one, where you do not control the real erosion. The real erosion, yes. If areas, uh, the areas where real erosion has occurred mm. and it is not controlled, you are definitely prone to have these kind of channels happening, V-shaped mm. and the U-shaped. Mm. Mm. And since they are V-shaped and U-shaped, they are deep. The keyword, deep. deep. They are deep V-shaped and U-shaped channels. Yes. Another place, this is a place where mining has taken place. Mm. The quarries. Yes. They have dug out the stones. Mm -hmm. They have dug out the sand, mm. the minerals. Mm. So, and uh, when they are digging up, they dig valleys. Yes. Big channels. Big channels. Then they true. leave them open. Yeah. What is going to happen? Mm. The soil is becoming loose. Yeah. It caves in, caves it in, caves in. It widens. Yes. You see? Yeah. Because when you are mining, and also another fact, when mm. you are mining, you use heavy machines. Yes. And when those heavy machines are shaking the ground, it becomes loose. They are loosening the soil. Yes, they are. So, despite the soil was compact, the stones were compact, mm. they become loose. Their mm. particles vibrate yes. and they separate. Okay. Once they separate, soil erosion is definitely mm. going to happen. Mm. Okay, from there, there is a diagram I want us to observe again. Mm. No, this one is a very, and that's why I told you, in this uh, erosion, it's very dangerous. It is. Very dangerous. Mm. Because, tell me what you can observe in that diagram. Ah, oh, man. Well, one, I see homes mm -hmm. that are on the edge. Don't get emotional. I won't. Because <laughs> these people... They never controlled the they erosion. Yes. And they actually saw it coming. For you to get this big and this wide, you Exactly. Know, they had to. They had, yeah. They had to. Yeah. So you actually even feeling sorry for them. Yes. Now, that is an assignment to you. Mm -hmm. Go and identify okay. where soil erosion has occurred mm. and prevent it. Okay. Always be, be, be a lover of nature. Yes. Be an, a good ambassador. Mm -hmm. Make sure whenever you find soil erosion is uh, happening mm. or has happened or is prone to happen, do something to control it. Yes. The different methods of soil erosion, mm. go, especially the best one, mm. planting ground cover crops. Mm. Avoid cutting down trees. Mm. And of course, plant trees. Yes. Make sure you plant trees. For example, today I'm going to plant two. Good. Then... I'm going to plant two as well. Very good. Yes. Mylana, do the same. Please plant a tree. Yes. Yes. So in our diagram, yeah. you can see there are houses. Mm -hmm. There are people definitely living there. Mm -hmm. And next to the house is a huge, 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 a huge, huge valley. A huge valley. And by look of it, the ground is still breaking. Yes, it is. It's still breaking. Mm. So... If they will not control this, what is going to happen in the next uh, two weeks? Their homes are going to fall into the, the valley. The houses are going to cave in. Yes. They're going to fall mm. into the valley. Yes. This is the kind of erosion. If you look at it, now it's wider and it is deeper, mm. forming mm. a U-shaped mm. erosion yes. or a U-shaped channel. Mm. So these are some of the effects of this soil erosion. Mm. It forms ditches, the ground breaking, mm -hmm. and the land, land sliding. Yes. Because if you have, well, just like you have seen in our diagram, mm. the land at the side, it has slid inside the, mm. the channel. Yes. And it will continue mm. unless it is prevented. prevented. Unless it is prevented. Wow. Thank you so much. So, do you have an assignment for us? Yes. Mm -hmm. I've given you so many assignments so far. So far. Yes. The first one, I told you, go and find out what do we call the land that is inside. Inside the, the ocean, water body. The water body, yes. The second one, mm -hmm. find out how we control these types of erosion. Mm -hmm. And this type of erosion, we call it, this type of erosion, mm -hmm. we call it gully erosion. Gully erosion. The erosion that forms this V-shaped or U-shaped, mm -hmm. we call it gully. Sorry. Mm -hmm. We call it gully erosion. erosion. Gully erosion 
occurs when real erosion is not controlled or prevented or prevented i hope you got that these shallow channels mm. once they are uh, deepening and widening mm. they form definitely what are going to be v-shaped mm -hmm. or u-shaped channels mm. and that's what we call gullies. gullies okay these once they deepen they become gullies mm. so gullies tunaweza sema ni mitaro kubwa kubwa okay big ditches and channels okay so these gully erosions mm. are deep v-shaped or u-shaped channels okay the key word there v-shaped or u-shaped channels okay the next one mm. they are caused by uncontrolled real erosion mm -hmm. and a lot of mining mm. on the same piece of land okay so using your digital devices with mm -hmm. the, of course the help of your parent or guardian mm -hmm. find out ways mm -hmm. on how we can prevent and control this type of erosion okay because you have seen how disastrous it is yeah scary actually very very scary yes i thank you so much mr muhia we thank you so much for joining us today i hope you have really learned something we learned about gully erosion which is the kind of erosion that causes the v-shaped or the u-shaped kind of what erosion. kind of erosion and we've seen how dangerous it is we've also learned how to control them and how to prevent them also in our previous lessons we know how to plant trees and we need to plant crops that are on the ground on the ground and we talked about the watermelons we talked about grass yeah mm -hmm. and we talked the about sweet, sweet potato potatoes. vines yes. yes yeah so you at home Please, I hope you've taken your notes and you know exactly what to do. And we thank you so much for joining us. I hope you've learned just as much as I have. I have been your host, Wango Indirango. Our sign language interpreter has been Velma Akinyi. And our teacher for today has been Mr. Mohia. We ask you to please follow us on our social media platforms. We are on Twitter, Facebook, and YouTube at EduTV Kenya. Drop in your comments, say what you think, and I hope that you do the assignments that have been given to you by our teacher. Catch us next time, same place, same time. Until then, it's goodbye. Goodbye. Educator.